Um, if any nerve in your body can't get enough oxygen or glucose or drain easily, there can be problems because the nerves have sensors in them that will complain to the brain and, and say, oh, I'm hungry, I can't get enough oxygen in here, I can't get enough glucose, or, oh, there's, there's a backup in here and it's, I'm getting squished on the inside, Compress compression from within the nerve because it can't drain. Anyway, these can all be problems that bother nerves and can create signaling to the brain that the brain will deal with as best it can, but if it can't deal with it anymore, it's going to knock on the door and say, excuse me, uh, conscious part of the brain, uh, we got a problem in sector 17 or wherever. Uh, and it will complain and you'll notice that as, you know, that'll be your pain experience. And you'll think, why is my arm hurting so bad or whatever it is. Um, I like to think of the brain as being kind of part, part critter brain, part human brain, because the critter brain definitely exists and it was there first. And yeah, it's attached to the human brain, but really this part kind of can run autonomously. Uh, it keep, this is the part that keeps us alive. And we share this system with all the other critters that have spine, spinal cords. Um, okay, we already talked about that, let's go on. Okay, talked about, I'm going backwards, sorry. sorry. Boom, 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 boom. Human brain is where we are aware of a sense of self and from where we can choose to pay attention to something. I like to think the human part of the brain is that it's the meaning maker of the, of the nervous system. After I've talked to people and showed them these little simple pictures, I show them pictures of nerves. So I say, okay, so here's a picture of a nerve. It's a big tube, runs through the body, 72 kilometers of this or 45 miles if you live in the U.S. And inside the nerves are smaller tubes, and inside those smaller tubes are the neurons, which are even smaller tubes in a bundle. Nerves have their own circulation and drainage system. It's attached to them all the way along. It's called the neurovascular bundle. The fascicles, or these smaller tubes, can slide a little bit in the nerve, and that's good for them because that stimulates the circulation in the nerve. If there's something that's hung up or caught or whatever, sometimes that sliding system gets uh, impaired and the nerve can't, um, it can't physiologically, it becomes compromised and it will complain about that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to be touching you on your skin someplace. I might be sliding your skin around a little bit. When I do that, I'm going to be moving nerves. You're going to feel me, but I'm not going to hurt you. I do not want to hurt you. In fact, I'm going to put you in charge of me. If I'm doing anything that's creating any discomfort for you in any way whatsoever, I want you to speak up and say, Diane, that's pinching, or Diane, you're pulling on the hair there, whatever. And I will stop what I'm doing. I'll move my hand. I'll, I want this to be a comfortable experience for you. If it isn't comfortable, it's not going to work has to be comfortable. And not only comfortable, but it should feel even a little bit good. If it feels a little bit good, that's really good because your brain's going to in take that on a lot easier and change itself, which is what we want it to do. It has to get, get itself straightened out a little bit. Um, so you're going to be guiding me. And your job will be just to watch and um, note what's going on. And if there's anything I'm doing creating any discomfort, let me know. Okay. So here we have a picture of social grooming in animals, in vertebrates. And all vertebrates do this, and they seem to be able to do it across species without any trouble. Get rid of that arrow. Okay. And so we're going to talk now about what might be successfully hacked. If we look at the critter brain as the operating system, how can we hack that in quote marks. I'm not talking about hacking. I'm only talking about metaphoric hacking, right, in the computer sense. We want to